transitioning from having that stable corporate income to mm. running your own thing. So I just wanted to know, like, how did you navigate that uncertainty of like coming from HR to not just coaching, but like having an entrepreneur hat because you had to start that on your own. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, I have to say the uh, the competence for being a coach mm-hmm. and for running a business are quite different. <laughs> very, <laughs> um, very different uh, for sure. I-, I was lucky enough to have uh, before I left corporate to have shifted roles. And so the way we met was I was in a role that really was about business development. Mm. Right. And um, I was in HR for many years, but I had wanted to move into an operational uh, role in the company. Uh, and I had the, the, the opportunity when one of our general managers took a chance on me. And I, I pitched to him the idea of me taking this role of business development. And I think that's what gave me the initial confidence, right? Mm-hmm. That if I can do this for somebody else, I was kind of, we were kind of an intrapreneurial team, right? Then if I had something that was of my own, why wouldn't it work, right? Um, definitely, it came with a lot of risks. I mean, a lot of unknowns. But I did. I did the work. I I prepared myself as best as I could. I took my certifications. Um, you know, I studied business as well, even if I had exposure to business in 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 corporate. Um, and I took courses that will help that would help me. Um, and I think some of that was very helpful in getting to start up, and then of course sustaining it over the years. From what I'm hearing, you did a lot of groundwork and learning and growing before you transitioned. So it's not just like overnight, I decide I want to be this person, right? 